Hi everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator team here in the School District of Waukesha. In this video, we're going to take a look at the process of batch enrolling students into a Blackboard 9 course. Now this process hasn't changed much from what we did previously before Infant and Campus, but we do have a new website where we'll go to get our class list. So if you're already familiar with this process and you just need to know what the new website is, it's right here in purple. For those of you who have never seen the process before though, stay tuned and we'll take you through the whole video and the whole process. <clears throat> the new website that you'll go to get these class lists is sdwsis.waukesha.k12.wi.us. Again, it's here in purple. That's a piece you'll want to write down and it's also a website you'll want to bookmark for future use. So let's go ahead and get started and see how we use this website. Just close that. All right, so when I go to sdwsis.waukesha.k12.wi.us, I'll be taken to a page that looks like this. What I'm going to look for specifically is the intranet campus production link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to be taken to the SDW intranet where I'll log in. You'll notice here I'm going to use just my regular username, so the first part of my email address here at school, and my password, the same password I log on to uh, most things in the district with, uh, logging to Blackboard, Gmail, etc. So uh, username and password will work for you, just like it's working for me. Now I'll have a few more options than you do, but the key thing that you'll see here is these class lists that are in place. If you've never been here before, uh, this is the place where you can come to get class lists for Blackboard, class lists if you use Smart VE or Smart Response, uh, class lists for Google and creating contact groups in Google. So all of these class lists are really just pulling from the Student Information System Infinite Campus. For this particular process, we're going to use Class Lists BB. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now again, I'll have a few more options than you will. But no matter what I pick here, you'll probably be taken to this point right here. Let's just see what we've got. When I get down to my section, you'll see here that I have 53 records found. That means there happens to be 53 students in this particular class. Now you're going to repeat this process for every class and section that you teach. So you might do, uh, you might have do have several different courses that you use. You might just have one, but for each of them, you'll have to download this CSV file, and basically, it is just an Excel file in a format that can be imported into Blackboard. So all I'm going to do is click on that link, and it's going to ask me where to save it. These are throwaway links that get updated nightly. So if a new student were to come in tomorrow, this this would be a new list with that new student's name in it. So we're going to go ahead and do that there. And so I've got it downloaded. I'm just putting these on my desktop for now. So you're going to repeat that process several times. Now, we're going to take a look very quickly at what this could look like if we were to open it up. So here's an example of what that file would look like, just cleaned out and uh, with some generic usernames and such in here. But um, this is the format that that CSV file comes in. You really don't need to open it up. I just want to show you what that format looks like so that in the event you ever need to create your own list, um, you could do so. Um, but this is already pre-formatted for you. Again, no need to open it up. Just wanted to give you an idea of what that would look like. All right, so I've got my downloaded file. Hang on one second. I've got my downloaded file. Now what am I going to do with that information? Well. Let's start by coming into my Blackboard course. So here I am in the Blackboard course where I would like to upload those users. Over here in the lower left-hand side, if I'm a teacher in this course, I'll have access to the control panel. You can only do this process if you are a teacher in the course. So I'm going to click my little drop-down arrow. Users and groups might look like this at the time, so we're going to click the little drop-down arrow next to users and groups, and then we're going to go into users. So at this time, you can see that I've only got myself enrolled as the teacher in the course, and I want to enroll my other students. If I were en enrolling a single student, I'd click Find Users to Enroll. But in this case, I'm going to come on over here and click Batch Enroll Users. So 
before I batch enroll any of my users, I have to go and download that CSV file. But by the time I get here, all I need to do is click File Location, Browse. Browse for the file that I'm going to be uploading. So there's one that I'm going to upload. Again, you'll want to make note of who's in that class and, and, and what class I'm enrolling in. So it may be beneficial for you to uh, name it something different if you don't understand the class code section, um, that piece of it. But anyway, what we're going to do now is just simply click Submit, that I've got students enrolled in this course. So that's pretty much the process. The students are enrolled with a student uh, status, which means they can't edit anything in the class. They can just interact as a student should be able to. And then I'm just going to repeat that process for each of my courses, or if I have multiple courses, I want to enroll in this. So that is the process for batch enrolling students into a Blackboard course. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact any of the members on the Instructional Technology Coordinator team. Have a great day.